All right. All right. And uh, who are you and where are you from? My name is Gerald Evans. Everybody calls me G-Man. I'm from Arizona. And uh, where are we right now? Uh, we are in Cool Springs. Okay. We're on Oatman Highway. Route 66, baby. <laughs> And uh, you uh, have, uh, you said you had one COVID opinion. Oh yeah, like, it's just about the mask thing. Everybody can wear a mask and I'm fine with that, but don't force me to wear one. Like, I don't get that at all. Like, you know, if you got your mask on, you're protected, right? You know, so why do I have to wear one? Like, you know, that's basically the only thing, uh, in my opinion. Now, so you you don't wear masks and you don't you don't want to. Have you also mentioned that you're not going to get vaccinated? I also, yeah, I never get vaccinated, flu or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I've always I don't trust putting shit into my body. You know, I'm kind of hippie, so. <laughs> we have, and we have, we have our own doctor. And and uh, and so you um, uh, have so you have not changed anything about your life in the last year i mean you haven't been socially distancing masking and uh i would kind of consider myself a social distancer anyways uh, yeah i've tried to avoid people anyhow just because i'm kind of like yeah a little little on the shy side but i'm getting over that you know maybe this corona is helping that <laughs> Have, has, have any good things happened in the last year uh, because Shit. of COVID? Um, Let's see. Because of COVID, no. <laughs> no, uh, you know, everybody's losing jobs, people losing homes. Uh, I've managed have, to stay in work, you know, but that's it's a, lucky is it affected, me, you know. It, it has, what kind of work do you do? I'm a tree climber. Ah. Yep. So and I, so, I climb trees and cut them down and and uh so do you um what do you think of the government response to all this and has it been uh, heavy-handed or has it been about right or do you have no opinion probably no opinion because i just stay out of it i know i did go in a mcdonald's over in the prescott valley area and they were fucking super dicks about not wearing a mask so I wasn't getting too too much friendly friendly there, you know, which is kind of bullshit. I just just want to go and get a burger and <laughs> eat something. And uh, what do you think of all the uh, numbers of the people dead and all that stuff? Does that even seem real to someone who's living out here in the, in I, the desert? Uh, well, I mean, like I look at like statistics and. Uh, might be fucked up for me to say, but like, how many people die in car crashes every year? You know, I mean, the only certain thing in life is death. And that's the only thing that's going to happen in life is you're going to die. And I'm sorry, but you know, it's going to happen to us all. So we got to enjoy our world while we can, try to treat everybody with kindness. You know, I've seen so much rudeness from this corona thing, so much just like bad tension, you know. That energy, I would say, that just people energy. going crazy for no reason at all because of a flu. Like, that, that's pretty weird. Like, you know, I don't, I don't know. And uh, so, lastly, any general thoughts about COVID? Uh, do you think it was? Uh, uh, did it come from China? Did it? Uh, I mean, do you have any uh, ideas I mean, about I guess that's government? What, uh, that's what the TV says. It came from China, but I mean, who knows? Any, uh, and, uh, uh, I know, actually, this whole year, I haven't even been sick, so it must have killed off all the other flus or something. Because <laughs> it's, it's weird. I usually at least get sick once a year, you know, I kind of get the flu or something, and I went the whole year escaping it, so... And uh, and so you don't you're not uh, a believer that it has anything to do with a government con uh, conspiracy or a government plot plot or um, I'm a sort strategy. of a conspiracy, but I haven't figured one out yet. When I do, I'll let you know. <laughs> well, thank you very much on this day. That what is it? The 29th. I think I think it's the 29th. Yeah, of 2021 April. and. Uh, and uh, thank you very much for your opinion. All right, happy 420! Late 420! Yeah.
Important note. These interviews attempt to follow how Americans live their daily lives in a pandemic, their behavior, and personal belief systems. The views expressed are not those of journalist Michael Sean Comerford, nor any affiliated organizations, past or present. No interview should be considered an endorsement of the opinions expressed by the interviewee. These pandemic-focused interviews document a wide range of views held by individuals along Route 66 from February to May 2021.